In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. Good morning. Today is Wednesday, April 1st, 2020, fifth week of Lent. Today our Mass intention is offered to Dudley Galatas, the parishioners and school family of St. Francis Xavier, and we also offer this Mass intention for the end of the coronavirus. My brother and sister, let us acknowledge our sin and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brother and sister, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fall, through my fall, through my most grave fall. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brother and sister, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Enlighten, O God, of compassion, the hearts of your children. Sanctify by penance and in your kindness. Grant those you stir to a sense of devotion, a gracious hearing when they cry out to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. King Nebuchadnezzar said, Is it you, Sandrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you will not serve my God, or worship the golden statue that I set up? Be ready now to fall down and worship the statue I have made. Whenever you hear the sound of the trumpet, flute, lyre, harps, sorty, bagpipe, and all the other musical instruments. Otherwise, you shall be instantly cast into the white hot furnace. And who is the God who can deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered King Nebuchadnezzar, there is no need for us to defend ourselves before you in this matter. If our God, whom we serve, can save us from the white hot furnace, and from your hands, O King, may he save us. But even if he will not know, O King, that we will not serve your God, or worship the golden statue that you set up, King Nebuchadnezzar's face became livid with other rage against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He ordered the furnace to be heated seven times more than usual, and had some of the strongest men in his army by Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and cast them into the white hot furnace. Nebuchadnezzar rose in haste and asked his nobles, Did we not cast three men bow into the fire? Assuredly, O king, they answered. But he replied, I see four men unfeathered and unhurt walking in the fire, and the fourth looked like a son of God. Nebuchadnezzar exclaimed, Blessed be God, the God of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, who sent his angel to deliver the servants who trusted in him. They disobey the royal command and yield their bodies, rather than serve or worship any god except their own god. The word of the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. The responsible psalm, Glory and praise forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you on the thrones of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your thrones upon the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious forever. Glory and praise forever. Glory to you, O Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to you, O Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are they who have kept the Word with a generous heart, and you a harvest through perseverance. Glory to you, O Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to those Jews who believe in him, If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciple, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answer him, We are descendants of Abraham, and have never been enslaved to anyone. How can you say, You will become free? Jesus answered them, Amen, amen, I say to you, Everyone who commits sin is a slave of sin. A slave does not remain in the household forever, but a son always remains. So if the son free you, then you will truly be free. I know that you are descendant of Abraham, but you are trying to kill me, because my word has no room among you. I tell you what I have seen in the Father's presence, then do what you have heard from the Father. They answered and said to him, Our father is Abraham. Jesus said to them, If you were Abraham's children, you would be doing the works of Abraham. But now you are trying to kill me, a man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. Abraham did not do this. You are doing the works of your father. So they said to him, We were not born of fornication. We have one father, God. Jesus said to them, If God were your father, you would love me. For I came from God, I am here. I did not come on my own, but he sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Those who speak the truth from God and want to have a close relationship with God often find themselves in opposition to those who are not open to the truth and to God's revelation. All of our reading today are also speaking about the truth in relationship with God. The first reading relates the experience of three Hebrew young men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They were willing to die rather than to become the four witnesses to the truth about who God is. They were chained in the royal service of the king of Babylon. 
they remained faithful as they did the service of the king. Then some royal court members were jealous about their faithfulness to God. Though members convinced the king to make a golden image and a royal decree to force them and force everyone to worship this golden image, then a they refused to worship this golden image, they were executed, they were thrown into the fiery furnace. But before being thrown into this fiery furnace, they also make their prayer, If our God, whom we serve, can save us from the white hot furnace, may God save us. Then they walk freely among the burning flames, untouched and perfectly safe after being bound tightly and thrown into the furnace. The king then came out to praise God who has protected them. They were truly faithful to God and the true disciples of God. Jesus in our gospel today also speaks about the faithful and true discipleship. The true indeed come from the relationship which anyone has with God in and through Jesus, the Son of God. If someone is faithful to the relationship with God, he will be free of sin and live as the descendant of Abraham, our father in faith. As we reflect on our reading today, may we also want to think about our relationship with God. Are we truly the faithful disciple who will always seek to go deeper in our relationship with God in and through Jesus Christ our Lord? The Lord hears the cries of His people. Let us now bring our prayers and petitions before Him. For all members of the Church, may the Lord make us worthy of His call in our lives to serve Him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all public officials, may God increase their conviction for upholding the dignity of every human person. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are in prison, may the Lord lead them to a freedom found in faithfulness and discipleship. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who got sick from coronavirus, may God heal them and help them to recover from this illness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For doctors, nurses, professional health care, may God continue to give them courage and strength to work and help patients to be healed from this illness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our own intention in silence, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, receive this prayer that we bring to you in the name of Christ our Lord. Amen. Now let us pray together the prayer for protection and healing from coronavirus. Lord Jesus, you travel through towns and villages, curing every disease and illness. At your command, the sick got well. Come to our aid in the midst of the global spread of coronavirus, that he may experience your healing love. Heal those who are sick with the virus. May they regain their strength and health. Heal earth from fear, which prevents nations and neighbors from helping one another. Heal us from pride, which make us claim invulnerability to a disease that knows no border. Stay by our side in this time of uncertainty and sorrow. Bring those who have died from the virus to eternal peace. Be with the families of those who are sick or have died. As they worry and grieve, 
defend them from illness and despair and give them peace. Be with the doctors, nurses, researchers, and medical professionals who seek to help those affected and put themselves at risk in the process. May they know your protection. Be with leaders of nations. Give them wisdom to act with charity and to concern for the well-being of the people they serve. Guide them to invest in long-term solutions that will help prepare for and prevent future outbreaks. Whether we are home or abroad, surrounded by many people suffering from this illness or only a few, be with us as we endure and mourn, persist and prepare. In place of anxiety, give us peace. We pray this in your most holy name, Jesus, for you are our loving and healing Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Prom Soccer, Saint Joseph, Saint Francis Xavier, Saint Rock, and Saint Rosalie, prays for us. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Praise my brother and sister that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive back, O Lord, the sacrificial offering which you have given to be offered to the honor of your name, and grant that they may become remedies for our healing. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Is he right and just? Is he truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed, and the authority of Christ crucified, and so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exhortation. We acclaim, Holy, 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 O Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, where supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have kept us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Gregory, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Apostle and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe for all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May the mystery we have received, O Lord, bring us heavenly medicines, that they may purge all evil from our heart and strengthen us with eternal protection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Now let us pray together, St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the rules of souls. Amen. 